Point San Luis Light Station consists of seven structures and two large cisterns for collecting rainwater. What we see today of the lighthouse and surrounding buildings is a beautiful restoration of the original construction and appearance as indicated in the historical records. Framed dwelling painted white, trimmings lead color, and the roof brown. The main structure was the lighthouse consisting of the lighthouse tower and the head keeper's quarter. The lighthouse tower is 33 feet high and is accessed by a winding stair and ship's ladder. But perhaps the most significant characteristic of the tower was the light itself. During the 18th century, producing a light signal that could be visible for miles from a single flame was a technological wonder. And there was no better lens than the Fresnel lens produced in France. Once installed, the reflection of the flame's light from this nearly two and a half foot brass and glass structure could be seen by ships nearly 17 miles out at sea. Decommissioned in 1974, this original lens is now on display at the lighthouse for all to see. The main structure of the lighthouse, called the headkeeper's residence, is a two-story home and partial cellar with construction and detailing that is vintage Victorian for the period of the 1890s. This main unit had two porches for entrance to the house that included a sitting room, parlor, and kitchen on the first floor. Interesting and unusual is the relatively tall windows that rise to the roof and provides the equivalent of a glass door for access to the piazza on the south side of the home. Aside from the steps and flooring of this piazza, all materials are original, including the rails and balusters, for a look at the level of quality and construction from over a century ago. On the second floor of the lighthouse are three bedrooms, boasting spectacular views of San Luis Bay and Point Sal. While the lighthouse receives most of the attention, it could not function in isolation and was operated like a complex. Equally vital to the safety of ships navigating in foggy weather into San Luis Bay was the fog signal from the station. The fog signal building, also called the Whistle House, was constructed in a similar Victorian style as the lighthouse and contained the steam boilers and generators that would produce the fog signal. During thick fog, the light signal was often difficult, if not impossible, to see by ship. Cutting through the fog was the horn, which warned vessels of the approaching coastline. Later using air tanks and compressors, the original cylinders and flywheels were discarded on the beach directly below the lighthouse. There is also an account that one of the flywheels actually spun off its axle during operation, burst through the south wall of the horn house, and came to rest on the beach below. Two small but important structures critical to the operation of Point San Luis Lighthouse was the oil house and the coal house. The oil house was a small fireproof structure for storing the fuel used to light the flame for the lighthouse signal. The coal shed was for storing fuel for the horn house boilers to produce the steam and resulting pressure to operate the horn signal. This coal also helped heat the residence. Completing the Point San Luis Lighthouse Complex is a small barn built from original 1890 plans, as well as the original privy or outhouse for the first and second assistant keeper's dwelling, and the duplex barracks built by the Coast Guard as their residence in 1963. While California continues to grow and change, Point San Luis seems as remote as ever, surrounded by the Pacific Ocean and majestic hills. Now 125 years old, Point San Luis Lighthouse remains a beautiful piece of California history and a must-do adventure on the Central Coast. <laughs>